Morning guys, um, welcome to Anchor Voices. Uh, today's Thursday and um, the story that I'm going to dive straight into is actually like quite a familiar story maybe to many people. It's the Battle of Jericho when the walls of Jericho town fall down. You'll find this um, in Joshua chapter 6. Um, I'm not I'm not going to read it because it's quite a, a long passage, but just quickly to say, you know, the Israelite people at this point have come across the Jordan River and God has stopped the flow of water there. And so they've seen a miracle and they're basically about to enter the promised land. Well, they, they've sort of stepped into the promised land to claim this promise that's decades old, like right back from when they were slaves in Egypt. And God said, you know, I'm going to take you to this promised land, the land flowing with milk and honey. And finally, they've crossed the river and they're there. Um but what what there is is this city in front of them jericho and jericho is is really like a fortified stronghold um of the enemy right in front of them right almost like the gateway into their promise um into the promised land and um and so what we see is that um joshua who's leading the people at this point is given some really specific instructions um so for for 6 days once a day they need to march around the city of jericho and then on the seventh day, seven times round, and on the seventh time to blow the trumpets. Now, what we know is that the walls of Jericho fall at that point. But I guess like for the Israelite people, that's like a really strange thing, like to follow these instructions, to to march and to do seemingly nothing worthwhile. You know, what's the point in marching round a city once a day for six days? I can imagine by day six, they're like, seriously, guys, what is what are we doing? And on the seventh day to go seven times round, you know, and by time number two, probably if it was me, I'd be like, is, is there anything going to change? Is anything going to happen here? Um, but but this faithfulness to doing these things, and on the seventh time, they blow the trumpets. And if you know the story, the walls of Jericho fall down, and the city is, is basically given over to the people. There's a, a really... I don't want to say easy defeat because I wasn't there and I don't know what the fighting was really like. But um, there's just this sense of actually the Lord made it possible. God made a way for them. And I was just really struck. I've heard this story so many times. I've performed it. I've made a giant cardboard box that falls over in an assembly. I've done, you know, different ways of, of playing with this story. But I, I re it really struck me today that there's this idea that actually the people were so close to the promise. They were right on the edge of breakthrough. They were right on the edge of their, their full freedom. And yet there was still this fortified stronghold of the enemy right in front of them. Um, but it wasn't in their own strength that they were going to defeat it. It was by trusting God. It was by obeying his commands, however absurd they might have felt at the time. And just this kind of trust to 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 do what yeah to do what God had asked and um, to blow the to blow the trumpets at the right time and and it really struck me that this was about God's timing that this this could never be about human hands and human control of defeating the enemy this was about God's timing and the people aligning themselves with God's timing and I was really struck by that and. Um, I've got battles that I'm facing right now, honestly, and it feels like there are these fortified enemies right in front of me. And the Lord is just like, Helena, this is about timing. And this is not about in your strength or in your way. This is about timing and trusting me and, and aligning yourself with the way that I'm going to do it, which is such an encouragement. And just, just as I close here, really, the thing that really struck me about this is right before this, um, as they've come across the Jordan River, which was a miracle in itself, read that, that's chapter four and five. Um, but one of the key things that happened as they crossed the river, like this threshold into the promised land, was that Joshua um, just gave, caused them to just stop for a minute and remember who God was. And I think that that was also really key into their being able to walk into their freedom is that they took a moment before they'd seen victory, before anything happened, and they said, this is who God is, and we will remember who he is. So I hope that's really encouraging for you today. Um, get into that story, no matter how many times you've heard it before, it's worth it. Okay, bye guys. Bye.